Do you want to talk about Tom Brady? Too bad because we're gonna. So, I, I mean, the, the, my, I have no words. As long as I've been alive, as long as I've been watching football, and I'm an old person, the Patriots, Belichick, Tom Brady, they, it's just been a culture of cheating with that organization. And, you know, this morning I tweeted about how Shula called him Belichick, which is true. Uh, but what I want to talk about is the numbers from, well, first of all, let me start with, I am shocked that the NFL is actually doing anything about the Patriots. I'm shocked that they actually went after Tom Brady. I'm shocked that they tried to suspend him. Because for as long as I've been watching football, it's always been this culture of, no, it's okay, you know, we're cool with that. It's okay, you know, it's like we're cool with that. Like, they've never actually cared to police this type of bullshit. Like, I'm sorry, they just never did. So I'm actually shocked that it went to court. I think the reason why they're doing it in 2015 versus why they didn't do it in, like, the early 2000s is because the way news travels in this day and age, the way people are now questioning the integrity of the NFL, I think they were looking to pin it on someone. I think the whole thing should have been pinned on Belichick, not so much Tom Brady, because I'm sure Belichick was telling Brady to do certain things, because I don't think Tom Brady is uh, conniving enough to come up with this and say, look, I'm gonna deflate these balls all by, you know, on my own. I'm gonna get the the uh, equipment man to do this. I just don't, I just don't see that in Brady. I do see it in Be Belichick. So now to go back to the numbers, because now everyone's saying, well, and I saw on Twitter this morning, like, well, now you know Tannehill's not the greatest in the East anymore, and now you know the Patriots are coming back. Screw the Bills. Screw the Dolphins. That's not true. Uh, the Harvard study and my numbers, we ran it saying that Tom Brady was going to start these four games because Tom Brady is a Patriot. You know, Tom Brady was already integrated into the team. I didn't take those numbers out. The comment I made from my last video was, well, if he is suspended, that helps the other teams in the AFCs. Um, but if he isn't, the numbers still stand. The same thing with the Harvard study. They kept Brady in for the four games. So for everyone saying, oh, well, you know, the Patriots are back in, the Patriots are back in, the Patriots are back in, I don't think so. And I think now the NFL is even, now everyone's watching the Patriots like, all eyes are on your cheating ass. And, you know, you come out there with some cameras, you come out there with certain plays, you know, like, you know when you play them, you're playing, you know, you're going into, like, the shadiest Kardashianist land, and you have to be very careful of them, because some people just can't win. They just can't win on integrity, you know what I mean? But my father always used to say, the universe will catch up with you, and just like LeBron, it did. So I really have no... I really have, you know, no sympathy for the Patriots, but numbers-wise, the Dol it's still the Dolphins and the Bills. It's because Tom Brady's numbers were in all of our al algorithms. They were in all of our analysis. So when we were running, when I was running those scripts, Brady was in there. Brady was in for the four games. So and they still they still didn't do well against uh, Miami or the Bills. Remember, you have Rex Ryan, and you have now um, Sue on Miami. And I'm glad, I'm grateful it happened this way, because now when the Patriots lose, and they will, because the numbers don't lie, some people do, but the numbers don't. When they do lose, there's no excuse to say, but we didn't have Tom Brady, and I got Tom Brady, and our boy Tom Brady, they totally hung us as drive with Tom Brady. Nobody cares about Tom Brady. Bring Tom Brady. I can't wait to see a Dominican Sue just run right through, just, just eat him. Eat him like filet. I can't wait to see that because that's what all the numbers say. And the Miami Dolphins have the top three defense in the country between the AFC and the 
including AFC and NFC, top three in the country. So, my numbers are good. Uh, so yeah, and then tonight we have uh, a, the last preseason game. Uh, when this game is done, I'm going to run more numbers and I'll see how all the teams stack up preseason wise. And then I'll do that video for you. But let me know what you think. Dolphins fans, Patriots fans, football fans in general. Let me know what you think about Tom Brady getting to play these four games. Do you think he should be allowed to? Do you think it sets good precedent? I don't. Personally, I think even four games was a slap on the wrist. If he's going to be your fall boy, he should have been out the entire season. You smoke marijuana, they, they damn near kick you out of the entire NFL. You get at least a one-year suspension. I don't understand how he's not out for an, at least one season. Four games is just a joke. It's a joke. Uh, but again, I'm still shocked that the NFL even took him to court because the NFL has always been like, no, it's okay. Cheating's okay. They're very pro owners and they're very pro teams. Um, so I'm shocked. Uh, but let me know. Let me know what you think and let me know if you think he should have been suspended at all. Let me think if let me know if you think he shouldn't be suspended. And let me know how much you hate the Patriots. I don't know. To me they're like right up there with the Kardashians. I, I dislike them more than the Kardashians. I would gladly watch a Kim Kardashian marathon instead of watching a Patriots game. So there you go. All right, you guys, but the numbers say it's still Dolphins and Bills. Uh, no, Pats ain't got a shot in hell, even with your boys, so bring them. All right, you guys, that's it for me to quote the greatest show on earth. Live long and prosper. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Poke, poke. I sort of got, I set up the camera and then this guy decides, this guy outside decides, you know what, you know what? But it's like four o'clock. Let me, on a hot day, let me, let me do the lawn. It's hot. You should wait until it cools down, homeboy.